whatever was used to braid the braids, I was like allergic to it. it Neutralize whatever was in it. That the wig was too big for my head. Half is so big that it would literally be all the way down my neck. What up, y'all? What it do? I'm Miss Indigo Blue. Thanks for stopping through to my channel. This is a Bella braided wig review. I really don't know where to begin with this wig, but what I will say is in the end, it all worked out. So whether I finessed it or what, it ended up looking beautiful, but the trials and the tribulations, honey. So my daughter encouraged me to do the whole washing process ASMR style. So that is here on the channel already. If you want to click the tab below, you can go and see how I had to clean the wig. So what was the problem? First of all, I ordered the wig on Bella Braided Wigs. Now, I know it's 2022, but I ordered this wig in January of 2020. The wig is a 360 lace. It is a butt length corn roll wig and the hair is in the color blue. So they have different styles on their website. I ordered two wigs. I believe the second one, there was like a BOGO price on it. And so I got one box braid wig and then I got this corn roll wig. It's 20, 22. I have not even worn the box braid wig yet the box braid wig is so insanely heavy that i probably will never be able to wear it but this wig was not necessarily heavy the two main issues that i had with this wig was one whatever product they used to braid the hair into the wig with I was allergic to so as soon as I would even sit the wig on my head to try and see oh what is it gonna look like the hair that would be touching my shoulders would start making me itch um, but I just thought that I was tripping like maybe it's just because it's braiding hair it's prickly and no I put a cap on and I sewed this wig down to my head I went from Dallas, no, Fort Worth, Texas, to Houston, Texas, and I knew, okay, I must be allergic to this. Is it starting to itch in such a major way that I can't sit still? So, and spending the night at my cousin's house, she was like, I'm getting ready to get my hair braided that exact same way. And I said, girl, this is going to be down by the time you come home because I cannot tolerate whatever itching this is causing. So by the time I got the wig off, went to sleep and got up, you know, I'm not at home. I'm at someone else's house. I didn't have my shampoo. I didn't have the things that I necessarily needed, but my edges of my hair were so inflamed. It was like I had just started regrowing some edges using some edge products and it snatched my edges completely back out. And I just bagged up the wig. And because we traveled for the most of the 2021 year let me back up for a second i ordered the wig in february or january of 2020 of course with covid it wasn't coming it wasn't coming it wasn't coming it wasn't coming but it wasn't just like it's a backup because of the situation and it was like the other items that i ordered with it i ordered three wig bases and i ordered a Shebe powder, Shebe uh, hair lotion, like a grease. So I had gotten the Shebe and I 
hadn't gotten anything else. And I'm like, okay, where's the rest of my order? So I messaged them and she said, okay, we're behind in braiding because the bases are behind, okay. But here it is June and I'm saying, okay, I'm about to have to let PayPal know that y'all didn't send me my stuff for them to actually print the label and start putting my order together. And I got the two braided wigs, but I never got my bases. And so then again, okay, the rest of my order is not here. I'm going to have to contact somebody. Where are my bases? And finally, I got the bases. So it was well into August before I had gotten all of my products. So by the time I was actually trying them, it was in February of 2021. So... Now that I've tried it, I've realized I'm allergic to it. Whatever they put on here and it's taking my hair out, it got bagged up because we traveled for most of 2021 and I just didn't have time to fool with that one. And again, the other one was so heavy that there was just absolutely no way that I was even attempting that wig. So now we're back and the wig had been put up in storage and we got it back out and we want to try it out now that we are here now here was my next fear after washing this wig and doing a little bit of scrubbing um what's the condition of the lace going to be one and two what's the condition of the hair going to be because i could already start to see a few little flyaways from the base and i was afraid that there was going to be a ton of flyaways from the base and it was the first time i put it on there was quite a bit of flyaways um, but i did take the wig back off and then i cut away all of the little flyaways and that redeemed it it looked awesome after that the other thing was it did come with baby hair but i don't know if my head is small it ain't extra small like it's normal size head and everything like that but the unit is so large like y'all remember when they was going ham on cardi because that braided wig was on top of her ears yeah so i had to cut my ears out cut some braids out luckily it was a layered wig and there was a layer of braids at the bottom and a layer of braids at the top so i was able to cut out some of the braids from the bottom layer and then work around my ear but then there was so much wig at the back of my head that it was going all the way down to the bottom of my neck. So I had to kind of take the wig and scrunch it up and then place it on my head before I sewed it down. Now, it's a lot going on with the wig. I'm rushing trying to get it on by the time I'm ready to put it on and I made one crucial mistake. I started applying that wig from the front because of the weight because of how much netting and how much cap there is it is probably imperative to start applying that wig at the back so i've since applied the wig probably three more times and every time it got better but from the second time on i applied it from the back and then to the front that way the weight of the wig is not making it slip before you can even get started. So, I really love the Shebe grease that I got from them. I was surprised because when the wigs came to me, the packaging on a couple of, they, they came from different places, first of all, so I don't know if they direct ordered the bases, but um, they were shipped from Africa, <laughs> and I wasn't expecting that, and I thought, oh wow, how neat. Um, but I'm not sure what type of product it even was that was used to braid the hair. I just want to let you know that if you have sensitivities or allergies and you put the wig on, it's not just the hair that it's itching you. It's probably that you're having a reaction to some product that was used on the wig. You don't want to leave it on your head for any amount of time if that's the case. Because if you go through what I went through, your hair is going to completely come out so that being said um i can't really judge them on how long it took to get to me during covid 
you know, during that, you know, I can't really detect if it would have still been late. I don't think so. I'm guessing they continued to receive braided wig orders and wasn't receiving base wigs to put the braided wigs onto, which kept pushing them further and further and further behind with getting me my bases. Um, and so that's something they probably couldn't have helped too much, but there comes a time when you say, okay, it's time for this order to go ahead and be filled and it shouldn't have been the number of months that it took. As far as the other wig, to me, it's probably a total waste of money. If you want to see me try to put that thing on. Like I have let several people hold the wig and they would be like, oh my God, because the wig is so extremely heavy. So I don't know if they're still using the same techniques that they were using before. I see people wearing them. I see stuff that looks like it's probably good reviews and stuff on some of their units. Um, my experience with them is that I probably will not be ordering again. Although I really loved the wig that I have now. I definitely don't want to go through what was necessary to wear it and if I were to get any other type of wig and it would be some type of box braids whether large or small I would assume that it's going to be super heavy the wig is going to be the cat part is going to be super big and I'm gonna have to finesse it again and I just don't want to go through that the braids are very neat they um, look gorgeous but what i had to go through to get to the end product was not it so i appreciate you so much for watching if you've purchased a bella braided wig before whether you have a similar or a totally different experience please comment it down below i love to support us in business so it was very sad moment for me to have to feel like i got a product from a company that i don't want to patronize again so maybe y'all can help curve my mind to where i'll at least go mm, maybe one more time i don't know but hey thanks again for stopping through i love you and appreciate you so so much i'm gonna leave you with my mantra before i get out of here which is when it gets hectic don't forget i've got it You've got it. We, we've got it. The power. And you can do anything and everything you set your mind to with your power. Oh, wait a minute. Did I change the mantra? I am it. You are it. We are it. The power. And we can do anything and everything we set our minds to with our power. May it be for our greatest good or our greatest other. I'm Miss Indigo Blue, and I'll see you here again next time. Ciao.